While we may think of propaganda in more modern terms, the expanded access to printed works helped grow the impact of public perception as a weapon of war hundreds of years ago. In the Thirty Years' War of 1618 to 1648, motivated within the Holy Roman Empire by Catholic and Protestant conflict, the 1831 sack of Magdeburg in the Holy Roman Empire demonstrated the expanded use of this new tool. Militarily, the Catholic forces of the Imperial commander, Tilly, were successful in taking the Protestant city, but an out-of-control fire in Tilly's inability to restrain his forces from looting and pillaging resulted in a death toll within the city estimated to be upwards of 20,000, a loss which the city wouldn't recover from for hundreds of years. A contemporary account from a resident named Otto von Gurich describes the event saying, quote, Thus the renowned and genteel city, the ornament of the entire land, went up in flames and smoke in a single day, and its remaining inhabitants, with their wives and children, were taken prisoner and driven out by the enemy, such that the shouting, crying, and howling could be heard from far away. The Protestants argued in the press that Tilly intended and planned the total destruction of the city, though historians tend to agree the soldiers were out of control despite attempts to rein them in, and the Catholic side argued the Protestants actually set the fires themselves. So both sides were trying to take advantage of this new technology, and ultimately the publicizing of the event solidified Protestant resolve in the face of what was a massive military loss for them. The ability for printed works to inform or influence public opinion would continue throughout the Thirty Years' War. Even the final treaties of the war and the Peace of Westphalia were published, and this would change the way diplomacy was done forever as well.